Hey everyone, I am here with the Ride One Up ST and this just arrived a few minutes ago and I've never done an unboxing video so I thought, well, I'll do that because I never have. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of how this box arrived. A um, little beat up right here. I can see a rotor through there. So hopefully there's no damage to the bike itself. Can't tell just yet. Uh, but yeah, when you get these delivered to you, you really want to go over the box, take pictures so that you can show that there was shipping damage if you do need to file a claim. Okay, well, I'm going to get this opened up and we'll see what's inside here. Hopefully it's the one that I ordered. <laughs> well, it is the right one, so that's good. I ordered the white. I think it's called chalk white um, for the ST. Got the seat there. Got the rear rack. I can see that light for the rear rack. Looks like it's in good shape. So I'm going to try to get this out of here. And uh, we'll have some zip ties to cut and all that good stuff. But it doesn't look like a whole lot of assembly to this. So that's good. Okay, there it is. Uh, this is usually how I open a box. I'll just kind of uh, just use a box knife, cut along the edges. So if I do need to send this back, I can just retape those edges. And I haven't destroyed the box. So Plus it's just a lot easier to get it out this way. Um, let me look here and see if there's any damage. And I'm not seeing anything. It doesn't look warped. I think this cap here protected it, so that's good. Get a first look at the tires here. I haven't really seen one with this kind of tread pattern before. Should be a very efficient, very quiet tire. Looks like we're going to have the charger down here. There's that mid drive motor. Got the kickstand. Okay, not, not a whole lot of zip ties to cut here. I know when I got the 700 uh, series, that one had quite a bit of assembly to it and tons of zip ties. I remember that. This one doesn't look too bad. A little bit, a lot more minimal. So that is going to be good news for a lot of people. Not quite so intimidating to assemble. So let me get all this uh, unzipped here and uh, we'll see what kind of assembly we're looking at. I was wrong. I thought this was too skinny for a charger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you get a little hat, a beanie here. It says ride one up on it. That's nice. It's branded. Um, got some tools here. Got some uh, hex tools, Allen keys. Pretty heavy duty. I haven't seen any bike tools quite that big. Um, and got some cards here. You can be an affiliate. You can make a little bit of money if you share this product with others. Uh, can help pay for your bike. <laughs> Um, I am an affiliate myself and it is a good program. I would recommend joining it if you do have like a blog or something that you write about uh, bicycling or anything like that. You can make a little bit of money. Um, adventure awaits here. Oh, okay. Just a postcard. Oh, that's neat. Okay. So in this box we have some bolts. It's probably for the light, I'm assuming. We got our pedals here. Will go platform pedals, metal. Got the charger. And I'm assuming it's probably two amp. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not the fastest, but still kind of the industry standard. So it's what I would expect. And we have, that looks like a little license plate holder. Huh. Oh, okay. It's for the uh, reflector in the back, maybe. Looks like it's missing. Oh, here it is. Okay. So we can add a little reflector back here somewhere. I have to see where that could fit. And we have a little manual for the charger. So you do want to read on that for sure. That's important. You want to know how to charge the battery properly. Okay. So it doesn't look like a whole lot, a lot of tools here or parts so simply shouldn't be too bad. I got most of the zip ties off. You can kind of see the bike here a little bit better. There's that Broza motor. It's supposed to be a quiet motor. I'm hoping that it is because that's what I really like. Uh, what really attracted me to it too because I like quiet motors. And there is the front wheel. Okay well let me go on a little bit further here and we'll see what more there is to, uh, to do. Okay. All right, coming along after I kind of made a little boo-boo. I thought I would kind of do things my way and put the front wheel on first and then the fender. 
nope, it, it doesn't work that way. It won't work. <laughs> you do have to put the fender on first. Um, and those screws that were in this little baggie here, uh, these attach the fenders right here, back in there. Okay. So yeah, so don't try to make a shortcut, take a shortcut like I did. It didn't work. Sometimes it works. That time it didn't. <laughs> okay, almost done. I just powered it up first time. Lights are working. Light in the back is working. Got to get some air in that back tire. Put the pedals on. It's too much batteries here. Yeah, it's not going to need to be charged up. I need to readjust this too. But, nope. Yeah, always a good sign when it turns on. <laughs> Got to put a little bit of a scratch in here. Yeah, I can always touch it up with a little bit of black paint. Got to do some more adjusting on the handlebars there, of course. Here are the keys. Hey, so far so good. Well, there it is. I took it on its first little ride. Did pretty good. I'm going to have to make some adjustments. The front fender is rubbing a little bit. Um, I noticed a little bit of wobble here in the pedal, and you definitely don't want to ride it if you feel any kind of wobble because you can strip the thread. So I'm going to reinstall that. Gears shift smoothly. No problems there. Shimano Alivio. Nickel plated. The brakes I had to do a little bit of adjustment with for the front brakes. And they adjusted after uh, kind of working with them a little bit pretty easily. So no issues now. I was kind of really able to pull this in quite a ways. Now it's where it should be. I think I need to do a little bit of adjustment here with the handlebars too. It's not quite straight dead on here. So yeah, a little fine tuning, a little bit of adjustments. But other than that, this motor is super quiet. Um, that's what I was expecting. Okay. There it is.